Hello, it's Belinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. By myself tonight, just showing you some of these paper pads we got at Spotlight the other day. So these ones are still Amanda Christina's fault. Not Amanda Christina, wrong sister. Artie Crafty Alchemy's fault. We were in Spotlight on Wednesday with the sale going on. I only went back to get a couple of plastic containers, as I said in the last video, and we ended up... She texted us the photos of the papers and we ended up going and buying some of them. So these two are definitely Alexis's fault because she loved these ones. So, and I sort of picked up the other couple. I don't know. Okay, so let's get into it. So, unfortunately in the store they were bound here and bound here with that stupid plastic stuff that I've cut off. And couldn't really see into them that much. Um, but I'm happy with the two I've opened so far. So this one's called Minerals. They had about eight in total. So they're actually Spotlight brand. So they're 48 sheets of paper. Marked Spotlight brand, marked Crafter's Choice. And... They're a nice weight. They're single-sided. They're not a heavy cardstock weight, but they're a thicker weight than their usual sugar and spice range paper. So this is beautiful. So Alexis sort of loves this sort of stuff. So, so I let her pick these two. So this is like granite. Oh, wow. This is pretty. This is nice. I don't know what we're going to do with this. Oh, beautiful. Wow. That's really cool. So we've got green sort of rock, small green rocks, blue rocks I should say, little speckles, that's close to the front one, that's nice. Next I have to show you, wow, a project with this soon. When her hand gets better she'll be able to craft again, or wrist gets better. That is beautiful, the gold and the green. Oh wow, this is cool. I like how it's sort of faded out here and more in focus here. I wonder if that's on purpose. But that's really cool. Some like marble, pink marble. Some more marbled, some purple, blue and pink marbled. I'm loving this paper pad. This is just gorgeous. This cracked. Mmm, nice. I'm going to have to think of what I can do with this one. This is nice. It's got like gold running through it, but it's not metallic gold. It's like printed metallic gold, if that makes sense. Nice sunset. Or well, what looks like a sunset. They get two of each, so I'm just grabbing the two of them um, and flipping them up. This is pretty too. This looks like dirt on the ground. Could be the moon. Oh, some green. Oh, that's pretty. This is really pretty. Alexis is starting to get a really good eye for things. She's just, she's only 10 and some days she just amazes me with her -ness. That is pretty. It almost looks like paper stacked up, but it's got the, got the, um, oh, ripple in it. That's what I'm trying to think of. Almost looks like paper. And some diamonds, some triangle-y things. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like... Almost looks like mountains, but it's probably not mountains. Oh, this is pretty. It's like watercolour splatter. Oh, wow. These are just... These would be awesome to frame. Like, I don't know. How do you ever... How do you use this? How do you cover it up? That's the problem I have with really, really gorgeous paper. I don't know how to use it because I don't want to cover it up. But these would be just awesome just to frame on your, um, on your wall at home, wouldn't they? Oh, that's pretty. So that's that one, and then what I'm more interested in is, so that one's beautiful, Galaxy. Now Alexis grabbed this and wouldn't let it go. So this one was the first one we grabbed. Um, oh, this is pretty. I'll just see if I can take some pictures of, I've actually got pictures of me at the one of the space stations I went to when I was in America. I think it was down Cape Canaveral. Is that a space station? Oh, that's awesome, the blueprints. That's nice. Um, yeah, I can't remember where it was, but in America somewhere I've probably got photos of me in my early 20s. Not that you really want to see pictures of me in my early 20s. That's beautiful. Um, went to one of the space stations. I travel a lot in my 20s. I did across America. I did Europe. I did um, England. That's cute. For about four years, all I did was travel six months overseas, come back home, earn enough money to go back again. This is pretty. 
with the moons and the stars. Oh, this is nice. Oh, Alexis, are you going to share with me? She's not here, so she'll probably watch this video. And you'll probably say, no, I will not share with you, Mum. But there are two sheets of paper, so we only grab one paper pad of each because there are two sheets, so I'm sure we can share. Oh, some cut aparts. Oh, wow, I just love the depth of colour. The mountains and the moon and this. This is just pretty. As I said, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we've got it now. Oh, wow. This is just gorgeous. Oh, they're little astronauts, I just realised. And like Saturn with its rings and the planets. Oh, wow. Maybe we'll just have to go somewhere. We'll have to just travel to the moon so we have photos to scrapbook. Oh, sounds like a true scrapbooker. And we've got like the, looks like the stars and the dots. Oh, some more pretty, pretty, like a moon footprint. All the types of the moon and an astronaut and the word moon. Mmm. Oh, that's nice too. Pretty, pretty. And, oh, that's pretty too. That's just like, I can see that on my wall just framed. That's nice. Again, I love how they've overlaid the two patterns. Oh, wow. Lexus will like that. She likes fireworks and things that blow up. And then we've got some, oh, some tickets. Ticket to the moon, moon, earth. Admit one free ticket, free coupons. Ticket to the moon. Let's go to the moon. Child ticket. Oh, they're just awesome. Something like this, I may shrink down on my computer. Because they are, they have large ephemera. Did not see, oh, wow. Okay, that is lovely. But how the hell do I use it in a scrapbook page? I shouldn't use that word but what stick a little photo of Alexis over here like that's what I struggle with I love these beautiful papers but seriously when the designer designed them did they really have scrapbooking in mind because and this is hilariously funny because about a couple of weeks ago or about a week ago I've just put up a, a art journal page with astronauts on it it's hilarious that would have been awesome for my page but I may do with what I have some triangles but yeah how huh? like a lot of these overall patterns you can cut them up and use them as backgrounds and stuff but that that big one is just gorgeous so i've got this one which is lovely love the purples in this one and we've got more of the planets i'm in love with this paper pad this is really cool too so we've got a few more ger ger <laughs> i was just about to call it geriatric it has been a long day Geometric, that's the G word I'm looking for, not geriatric. <sighs> Miss Alexis with her sore wrist is not sleeping so well. So that means mummy's up late. So that means mummy also has to get up early and do work, especially today I had to get up and do some stuff. Um, so I am knackered and it's only... <laughs> it's only 6.30 at night and I'm ready for bed. And I can't go to bed because I've got to work till midnight. Because um, I've got my show coming up next week. <sighs> Welcome to my life. I love that. That's like stepping on the moon. That's so pretty. Oh, some more cutter pouts. Journey into deep space. I need space. <laughs> That's really cool. Explore out of this world, ready to fly over the moon. They're cool cutter parts. Oh, wow. That's pretty. And that's the last page. Wow. I love that. And I love the gem one. They're just gorgeous. But I really don't know what we're going to do with them. But that's okay. Best thing about paper is it doesn't expire. It just sits in your craft stash until you're ready to deal with it. In 10 or 20 years. No, I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> so look out for projects with Alexis using these paper pads and myself. And we'll see what we can come up with. But they are just gorgeous. Bye for now.